Hello, everybody. We're back. Yay. Hopefully, we're back and, and working oh, I see her again. on the YouTube. Yep. And we're talking about South Park. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, I started a big conversation. Sorry. <laughs> I want to watch South Park after we end this session. I know. Can we just stop it now? We'll stream one online. And then... Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> yeah. no. oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> just going to go watch South Park. Oh, we're going to do a Amanda. react video. Yeah. Hi, Mamba. Okay. Um, Screens may look a bit different since I changed them. Oh yeah, during Good. the break. I haven't, I haven't caught up yet. Um, yeah. No, yeah. but it's to let the viewers know. Yeah. So you guys, you guys went to the tavern. I remember. Um, yeah. <laughs> you stayed the night. You had a rest. You had a drink. You uh, had some food. Uh, you wake up. It's nine nine a.m. in the morning. You know, sun is sun is up. Uh, people okay. are going about their business. Walk downstairs. The tavern is fairly empty. Um, the uh, the lady behind the bar she for a couple of gold each for the room, um, and we are live. It says we are live. Okay, and we are uh, are talking yep. on stream. Or are we still on a break? Um, I, I, I'm an it, ad. I am an ad. <laughs> it it should just be us. Yep, it's, it's we're good. We're good. We're caught up. <laughs> it's okay. Excellent. We're back. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, it's not been a successful evening with streaming, um, but yeah. we're back. We um, yeah. we had some issues. You guys have uh, you guys have gone to the tavern. on YouTube. It should be fine. You've rested. You've you done all yeah. those things. Uh, we I mean, we're okay. post. Yeah, we do look okay. Yeah. We'll try and sort some of these things out for next week or possibly. Or um, but um, you guys had a rest. What are you guys doing? You've finished staying at Tavern, you've got all your spells oh, that's right. you've we healed up. We're going to go to the year 3010, fight the evil robot king and save the human race again. Yes, we okay. are. Yes. Still talking about Brian Boitano. Um, How did you know what I've got written down? <laughs> when, when we get up, I'm going to ask if anybody wants this snazzy ring that I have. What does it do? Uh... Produces a spectral ram's head that makes an attack roll with a plus seven bonus and does 2d10 force damage and pushes things five feet away. Not Chessie. Got three, got three charges. We're not going to uh, have the person in the back using it. Yeah. Well, it's got three charges and it uh, gets like one d3 back every night. You want it, Torb? Uh, sure. I will send you its description and I'll. Cool. Okay. So, what Just so I'm not hoarding all the magic stuff. Yeah. What do you guys want We've to do? We've all got our that... taste of magic stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you remember that to. Um... I remember. Uh, Carla, can remember. you write that in on um, this chat? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can't change. You can't change screen. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. You remember <laughs> that he um that, that Jonty Thank you. from Jonty's magical weapons in Israel Ware had asked you to go and look at the um the fair or the fate, uh, which you led you down this path to have hello and then to the mansion. Oh yep. yeah. But that was fair. that was quite a while ago. Um, I'm pretty sure I made a with all the... we met Jonty. You didn't meet him, I don't think. It was just a... Oh, when we mentioned 25. John. 25 yeah. went in there to find a pet. And he came up with a spider. He found the best pet. Best pet and ever. And when, when, when we left the fair, everybody had the same face. It was Indeed. not at all unsettling. Yeah. Well, I guess... I mean, we could go back. I guess we okay. should at least... The fair, is it... What, it's still there, you think? Okay. It might be. I um, think it's a good idea to go to the fair. You guys go back. It makes um, Kane happy. You guys head we back have to to uh, to uh, where the fair was. Um, Yay! Fair is fair is all gone. Village has gone back to normal. No one looks to be um, to be wearing the same face. Everyone That's seems good. to be pretty unique um, as they wander around. Looks like the the town has gone back to back to normal. Do we there, see the gone. ring? Okay. <laughs> the one true ring. The ringleader is going to save this place. No, so. it looks. It looks like. I mean, you know that this was a traveling fair. They um, packed up and left. You know, and you know that that he had he had vanished um, into a crowd. But looks like uh, looks like something has has removed the rest of of the the fate and 
uh, moved on. Okay. I presume you continue your journey back towards Israel. Yeah. Are you going yeah. anywhere else or doing anything else? Okay. As you um, as you travel, it takes you a few days to get to get back. Um, journey is pretty uneventful. You know, these are quite well traveled paths. Um, once you get out of, I think it's Addersfield where the uh, where the fair was. Once you get out of the the villages, you start heading down a main road. Everything seems to be fairly normal. You know, you travel for a couple of days, stopping along the way. Um, nothing exciting happens. Um, you eventually see the gates of of Israel. Where, um, as you do, um, guards standing outside as normal. Everything seems to be fairly standard. There does seem to be more guards than normal. Um, standing out front, where normally there's a handful, there's maybe ten to fifteen guards standing out out front of the gate. Um, you park your your carriage up, um, and uh, the man, uh, the the little kid, asks for a cup of gold uh, as you as you step off. Twenty five. Toss him a cup of gold. Why not? Okay. I scoop it up and tell him to get lost. He says, "Okay, okay." So as you I, after Kane li- leaves, I give him five gold. Why? This is the same kid that always tries to extort us for money. He goes, thanks, darling. I crack his skull. Into the the city, avoiding the the miserable cane as he does. Um, (laughs) As you you walk towards the barracks... um, I give Jesse 25 of his money back. um, As you you. walk towards the barracks, uh, Lieutenant Davros Armando is standing outside. He's like, oh, you've returned. Davros, indeed. Bob Ross. (laughs) Come in, come in. Um, I've been been hoping to, to see you. Um, you pile into his office. You know you've been in there a few times now. Um, he looks you up and down, sees that sees that you're all okay. Um, what news do you have? Do you have any news of the the Crimson Lotus? Don't look at me. I haven't been here for two sessions. <laughs> yeah, but the thing that happened in the last two sessions was us being in that spooky house. So you haven't missed anything. Yeah, but I didn't know anything about the Crimson Lotus side. Because I miss sessions. You were here for all of those sessions. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I was here for the back not... end of one, and I caught somebody's name, and that was about it. There you go. You pretty much know everything we know. Oh, good. I don't... Um, no, not really. Mm-hmm. In fact, mm-hmm. he didn't bump into any of them. Yeah. Um, so I presume you, you converse with him and tell him that, no, you didn't bump into the Crimson Lotus. No, nope, instead okay. we... After you we have this little argument in front of you, spirit rest. You then tell him no, we didn't see any. <laughs> we we went to a fair. For most of our journey, I've been stuffed in a trunk. So, so. did you help Jeez, us with our problem? We went there. to a fair, a haunted <laughs> house. <laughs> we didn't see any crimson lotus then. Uh, oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I assume you took care of it. Totally. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, you got, it's not, I, it's, well, no, it's, we, for it's the not most part. There anymore. Yeah. Yes, but all the of whole his fair didn't, away. and also we saved someone. Okay, okay. Sit down. Um, I need to talk to you about the. Bank. I lean against the wall. Okay. He's, he's already down. he's already moved some of the furniture away from the wall. Um, <laughs> his bookshelf's parted. Um, Kane's coming. He's got a spot. <laughs> He's put like a post note up. This is Kane. Uh, so he no goes on to say that he goes on to say that the banquet is tomorrow. Um, we've done everything we can uh, to make sure that the assassin you warned us about uh, cannot gain entry. Um, we've reissued every invitation at much expense. Uh, we've been checking credentials of all visitors. We have a couple of loose ends that we're hoping you might be able to help with. Um, the evening will be the evening will be split into two. Firstly, a show of all the uh, renowned acts from all over the land come and perform. Um, and uh, for Datos and his, his guests, um, we cannot ensure that the assassin doesn't come in of one of those groups. Um, sorry, I know you've entered the talent competition. Uh, yes. yes. Would you be willing um, to help infiltrate these acts and see if you can identify the assassin uh, w- within them if he is there? I, uh, I can certainly try. We have, a, we have arranged for you to 
win the um, the talent contest. Um, yeah. we, yeah. <laughs> we, would, we would need you to do it with your group of friends here. Um, the next performance uh, for the final is this afternoon. Um, we will then add you to the bill of entertainers um, and give you a dressing room where you can investigate um, the, the other acts. Um, the second part of the evening is a meal and drinks. Um, and uh, one of our other concerns Who's is a meal is Kern Skinner. This partner drinks um, a meal in drinks. You, you're the only ones who know what um, Kern Skinner looks like. Um, last time he was in the capital was over 40 years ago. Um, would you be willing to mingle with the guests, keep an eye out for him? Um, and if you see him, tell the, tell the guards. Um, obviously, there's no weapons allowed in the in the great hall as part of the of the meal or um, of the dress code, um, but uh, you know I really think you could you could help out with this. What about instruments? I don't know what that means. I mean, no weapons. Oh, but you guys can uh, you can have a talent show rigged to decide the winner, but we can't have. No weapons snuck in. It's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> you shouldn't let Saria cheat. I would have won by myself anyway, thank you. It sounds like a challenge. She is very good. Sorry. Mm -hmm. the, guards, the guards will have weapons. You know, we're, we're looking out for an assassin who we should be able to stop before he, he gets to his mark. Say someone kills a guard in front of us. Are we allowed to take said guard's weapon to defend ourselves? Absolutely. And you can have your... <laughs> Just get that conversation to a quick conclusion. You would have your weapons in the dressing room. Would we be we able... To... potentially go get them. Would we be able to pose one or more of us as guards to infiltrate the Specifically, maybe the ones that aren't very good at talking to people, and she kind of motions the, to gain. The problem. I is, probably have the highest charisma in the group. I the problem. Come at me, bro. Some of the some, some of the groups are quite large, so I think we're going to need you all to be able to investigate, you know, and and get close to them. They're more likely to get close close to another act than they are a guard. <laughs> I, I I was more referring to the the second part of the evening with the the banquet. Um, yes, I don't see why not. I mean, we we need to keep an eye out. the The only reason the only reason that you're there is to keep an eye out for the assassin and, and Kern Skinner. Um, you know, if it's easier to do that as a guard, then yes. Um, but um, blanket. You know, I mean, my, I'm I'm more concerned about the acts than I am. Than than I am the meal. Can Kane take a blanket with? Him? If it helps them and... perform, I do magic. <laughs> <laughs> Not sorcery. <laughs> I do like magic tricks. He does blanket magic. Apart from putting on a blanket, apparently that's too tough. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's a very very yeah. long blanket, so I was okay. pulling it all the way around. Okay. Um, Difficulty. The talent contest final is outside the Great Hall this afternoon. <laughs> um, if you just you turn up to the side of the stage, uh, you'll meet the the stagehands there, and they'll tell you what to do. Okay. okay. If you yeah. need anything, you know where I am. Um, you're gonna need to dress the part. Um, I'm, already in disguise. I'm already in disguise. He looks, he looks over at Kane and sees the leather armor with the big scar, the stab stain right through the <laughs> right through the center that he's still wearing. Um, Magic trick. Wow, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> okay, um, he shows you that he shows you the door. Oh. There's a door there. That's beautiful. Get out. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll leave. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll just leave. Hi. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave as well. Yeah, I just kind of want to saunter out. Can I roll okay. to see what type of door? Go up to spruce. <laughs> um, if you like, that like Dylan, Dylan spruce. Sprouse, um, Sprouse. Yeah. What are you guys doing? That it's too. um, it's uh, it's about midday by the time you arrive. So there's maybe a couple of hours for the uh, for the the talent show. I wouldn't mind turning in our side quest. Okay. 
So you're heading to Jonty's, are you? Yes. Okay. It's Jonte. Jonte. <laughs> okay, so you head to Jonty's magical weapons and armor. Yes. And what are the rest of you doing? Um, is there like any like oddity shop or someplace that I can sell a giant scorpion tail to? Uh, the best place that you've seen is probably Jonty's. Jonty's. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, Jonty's. I'll go there too. I wasn't I sure if there was like away. another place or yeah. So yeah, I'll go with twenty five. Yeah, I have nowhere else to go, so I'll go with them. Awesome. Well, we I'm do need to get. To... We do need to get costume. That's up to Kala. He All did right. say no. we need co costumes. So Kala, you can you're be in, in charge, charge of costumes. No, no, no. You can be in charge of costumes. Sorry, is going to be in charge of how the fuck do I make three not musically inclined people look like they should win a contest for musically inclined people. Costumes. <laughs> you need to have the right costumes. So you have to put it, pull everything together and make the fit the theme that you're going with. Sure. Okay. So I think you yeah. and Kane should go costume shopping. And my father, I'll have you know, was an angel <laughs> of some sort. Uh, music is in my blood. <laughs> there you go. I mean, sure, but you're pretty monotone and usually music pretty melodic. And then it's like the opposite so end. What, what do you mean monotone? You know. Yeah, I'm a dwarf. There's two things we're good at. Digging and singing. Yeah. I have never heard you sing. And I've never seen you dig. I haven't had the opportunity. So you are a crap dwarf. <laughs> 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 He's got the drinking down path, though. I mean, hey, have we been any in right? Okay, any mind so if you're both so musically inclined, what do you play? What's your instrument? We you sing. Do? We just yeah, talked we, about this. We sing. You just sing. Yep. Yes. Okay. I also took Barbara jazz top when I was eight. Great. <laughs> I could Can play some tap? sort of That's a jazz tap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kane took jazz tap in his younger days. Yeah. It wasn't by choice. He wanted to do ballet. <laughs> he was a different man back then. <laughs> a boy, if you will. That's usually how it works. <laughs> yeah. yeah, generally, progression-wise, yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's him Fine. telling his tragic backstory. Once upon a time, I was a child. <laughs> it was uh, awful. I you poor it. thing. You poor thing. <laughs> Fine. Okay. That's that man we'll that was once a boy. I'll go find us some costumes. All right. So you two are going costume. Going okay. to Jonty's, which yep. sounds like it should be a costume shop anyway. Yeah, it does. Okay. So you two head towards Jonty's. Uh, you you guys wander around asking people where you can buy fancy garbs or or outfits. Um, I'm just looking for things that are nice. Yeah, oh, man. I'm not actually looking for costumes, just like nice clothes. Sorry, and Kane on a shopping expedition. People give <laughs> you a couple of suggestions, and you start heading off in those directions. Uh, as you two arrive at um, at Jonty's, uh, he steps out from behind the counter. He's like, "Ah, oh, welcome, the little goblin, standing on the sort of jumps up onto the counter." He goes, "You're back. How did you get yeah. on? We Oops. we're back. We survived. Well, that's good. It's always a good start." Yeah. Yep. Uh, we yep. figured out what was going on. Okay. Um, they had a fair there, and they had a what was like a spook type house, and they would filter adventurers one way, and just normal families the other way, and they would. I think it's called a tent. Paralyze yeah, or a tent. turn turn to stone. They would essentially adventurers kill the adventurers or harvest their body parts. Harvest the items. Yeah. <laughs> See, part. So that was how they were getting the magic items. Yeah, they, they had a, them and then... a Medusa petrifying them, taking their stuff. They got away, unfortunately. I mean, the Medusa's dead, but... Yeah. Well, that's good. We can't let them carry on. Um, I will no, keep an ear to the ground. Me. See if I can... See if I can hear where it's... When it might be coming back. Where he... it might be coming back. Fair enough. Um, he, um... But... That's he did fair. some sort of crazy magic uh, where he turned yeah. everyone to look like him. That's how they got away. And they were, 
what were they doing? Were they like dancing and singing, or they they were doing something odd? They were laughing. They, they were laughing. laughing. It was because they thought it was. Thought it was. He is Joker. I don't, think was, I don't think it was. Yeah. They were being compelled to laugh. I think they just thought it was a spectacle and having. Fun. Okay. Um. He's he's as he say that he made everybody look like him. There's a wry smile there where you feel like he knows. Uh, what he did. Um, uh, he's obviously pleased that you figured out what's going on. Upset that the um, that the the fate hasn't been brought down. Um, he says he'll keep an eye out for you. Um, okay. he goes he goes on to say, is there anything that you you brought back that you want to to get off your hands, or do you want to take a look at anything that I've got? He hands over the hundred gold um, to you. Awesome. So yes. everybody gets a portion of that. <laughs> How much? Uh, 25. 100, 100 gold divided by 4. 25. <laughs> no, I didn't know how much the total was. Which also turns out to be his name. Exactly. <laughs> Too fitty. <laughs> About tree fitty. Tree fitty. Oh. About tree um, fitty. In this case, it's too fitty. But... Um, yeah, I'm going to... Do you want to look at any of the wares that I've got? I'm going to lay down you're... the um, giant scorpion tail on the Were desk. Are you going to make an Avon joke? Okay, as he um as you lay down the the, um, the tail on his on his counter, I assume. Yeah. I mean, this thing is huge in comparison to him. Yeah. Um, this thing is massive, and he sort of backs away from it a little bit. There's still a bit of pus and stuff pouring out the seeping out yep. the end. For some reason, Kyle just keeps massaging that gland. <laughs> um, it really gets that lower part of it too. Um, this, the, this was from a um. An giant imp. scorpion that was fused to an imp. It's a scrimp. Oh, I, a scrimp. I love yeah. the idea yeah. of Torb telling this story in 25, just like diving that. on the counter. A scrimp! He goes, I've got loads of these. You pull back a counter and it's just hundreds of tech knives. Yeah. Um, he's like, I haven't, I haven't really seen one of these. We can certainly harvest the, uh, the gland. Um, how long has it been dead? You know, and you tell him that you've been traveling for a two to three days um yeah he um he says i can give you a hundred gold for it all right um do you think the um the stinger part of it, how sharp is like the stinger um it's relatively sharp i mean this thing is starting to the fact that it's, it's not been part of a living thing for a period of time it's starting right. to show signs of of wear and tear you know you don't think unless it's unless the proper attention is given to it it's stored somewhere cold or um, mm -hmm. you know it's treated it's going to last a huge amount of time and, um i'll ask him after you or the glands would there be any way you can make a weapon out of the end part of it um uh, as an enchantment i don't do enchantments i deal with magical items um but yeah i'm sure i'm sure someone can do it um, you need to keep the gland in the the right kind of uh, temperature to keep it active. I mean, um, no, I'm I'm good. I'll let you have it for the hundred gold. Okay, um, so he gives you a hundred gold. Mm -hmm. He grabs hold of it and he tries to pull it off the counter, and there's the massive bang. <laughs> oh no, it knocked Jesse's up. laptop down. It definitely did. <laughs> it did. Uh, as he... As he starts dragging it out the back, and then he comes back out. Um, do you need anything? You don't happen to have any magic bows for um, under eighty-five gold? <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I've got two. And he runs out and he uh, digs around for a bit, and he comes out with um, what appears to be this this carved silver bow. Okay. Um, he it, he's holding it up. And bearing in mind the size of him, it's a long bow. Um, it's extra light. Um, you know, he sort of twangs the string a few times. Um, he's this is the best item I've got in the shop. Um, it's worth two and a half thousand gold. Um, but it, you know, it the stuff it can do is incredible. But I have got this, and he runs off and he comes back with a it's a wooden bow, it's still a long bow. Um it's got some some elaborate carvings down the side. Um, he goes on to say that this is a uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't say this, but it's a plus one weapon. Okay. Um, if you roll a six damage, uh, you automatically get to roll another die. 
Oh, nice. Um, and uh, you can have it. It's normally, well, it's normally 150 gold. But for what you did and for putting yourselves in danger um, like that, you can have it for 100. Torb, can you chuck me 15 gold for now? I'll pay back. I mean, just got 100 from that scorpion we all killed. Well, yeah. technically that's Torb's money. Mm -hmm. I ain't got a call of the task you for that. You carry that horrible tail all the way back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll drop him the 15. Okay, consider it done. So he hands over um, the, the bow to you. Yay. Um, so I'll send you the, cool. the stats of it. Cool. I'll be back for that other one, but just so you know. Okay, I'll have it wrapped for you. Thank you. And the bow. Um... <laughs> Um, uh, what about you? Can I get you anything? Um, have any good th throwing items? Um, How about this rock? <laughs> no, not not really. Um, tell you what, I have got. I've got some armor, um, some leather mm. armor. I've got some scale armor. Um, I've got a sword, um, which um allows you to uh or the sword will turn into a raven uh, and deliver a message to anyone within 50 miles um as i deliver you know, their death and it turns back into the sword as long as you know the the name and face of the receiver um that's pretty cool um i've also got um the quiver of the tracker which gives you um plus one to sleight of hand checks and survival checks uh, and lastly i've got the gracious ring of riches which allows you to cast Spare the Dying once per day. Um, and rumor has it, uh, it has a, uh, a story engraved in it to a, a, a treasure. Hmm. The ring does sound interesting. Okay. 250 gold for that. Hmm. You should get it. <laughs> I'm thinking. Hey, Torn, treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> Good reference. <laughs> Scott, you need to watch Parks um, and Rec. Yeah. yeah. I did try and start, but. The first, uh, so the first couple episodes are a little. I haven't seen it either. A little whatever. This like the third season is when it really kicks off and gets really good. But the once they really start going in the first season, it's yeah. It's so good. the first season was very budgeted. Okay, yeah. so yeah. while Torb is considering, you guys, um, you guys head to a rather lavish um, part of the town. Uh, there's some marble buildings. One of them is called Armand's Haberdashery. Um, and has various clothing items. That's our mind. They just have hats in the window. Um, it's got it's got some items of clothing as well. Um, as you walk in, um, there is a, a load of gowns and suits showing in the in the sort of shelving and lots of hats, um, but all sorts of all sorts of clothing item items. As you walk in, the first item you see on a on a shelf in front of you on a wooden mannequin. Uh, is just a, a, a plain suit um, for 3,500 gold. Kane, we should leave. I agree. <laughs> okay, so you turn, you turn around and walk out. <laughs> As you walk out, um, I'm assuming you're asking other people where things are. Yeah. Um, they tell you sort of pretty much... We also about... ask for with a budget. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Like nice, people... but not like royal nice. Yeah. Most, like nice, but not noble. Decent. Yeah, yeah, most of the people around here are dressed quite well. Um, and you ask a couple and they kind of sort of turn their nose up a little bit and walk, walk away. Even though I am in noble's clothes, technically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you, you, look, you look like you've worn them quite a lot. Yeah, That's they're probably a bit, a bit torn. <laughs> um, and then you see like a, 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 a trader walking past and you ask them. Um, he stops for a, a second and he thinks he's... Um, Important he's distinction. Like Was that an IT or a D? Trader or traitor? Trader. Okay. Trader. 
who is also a traitor, and he tells you the completely <laughs> wrong direction. No, um, he goes on to say there's uh, Mordorf's Fashion Emporium, um, Mordor. which, is, which isn't too far away from oh the uh, from from the fermenting barrel, which is a, an inn that you've that one of the yeah yeah. It's right oh. by the rusty screw. Yeah. <laughs> the giddy pickle. Yeah. Giddy pickle. <laughs> you, guys, yeah. you guys head off in that direction, I assume. Uh, yeah. Torb, while that has gone on, at least 10 minutes went past and you were still thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. I'll go He's just staring it. at it. Okay. So you um you take the ring, um, and it's a gold ring. Um, You can see that there's, oh, there's magic, uh, magic about it. Um, As you look at it, you can see an engraving um, on the inside of the ring. Yep. Do you Yuck. speak draconic? I could. One ring. Do you read draconic? More important. One ring. No. Good. Okay. And in the darkness, bind them. <laughs> Wait. I I know common and dwarvish. You have a magnifying Wait, glass. You have a magnifying glass. <laughs> I know. That's why I said I could. Okay. Um. You know what? Yeah, I'll take out magnifying glass. Okay. So as you take it out and you, you sort of turn the ring and start to read, the, the writing that you, you couldn't understand slowly seems to transform into Just a language. Just as the C that, word. <laughs> <laughs> you mug. Uh, no, it slowly transforms. Made into, in China. <laughs> That's the word. Into a, a ring that you can understand. And on it, it says, To the sands of the north where the dragons reside, the Tower of the Damned has many treasures inside. Well, first of all, going to be the lyrics that Kala had. No, different, different lyrics. <laughs> Same song, though. Yeah, it's the second verse. I'll post it in the in the doodah for you. Thank you. Doodah. Oh. In the doodah. Yeah. Um, is there anything else I can do for you, Jonty says? Um, I believe that's it. You enjoy what you get out of the scorpion tail. Oh, I thought he said and damaged. Good day. It makes more sense. You too. Um, and he takes your money. Um, you yeah. guys, you guys head off into the into the street uh you guys turn up at um somewhere you guys turn up at mordorf's fashion impor imperium 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 um, imperium. imperium um imperium. as you uh, as you walk in this um this flamboyant well-dressed drow walks out from behind some curtains oh god it's oh. 25 <laughs> Oh, you be Twenty-five doesn't dress that well. Hello, Stop my it. lovely. Valid point. How can I help you today? I dress better. Hi. Um, I just need four pseudo matching outfits that aren't super um, expensive. I mean, you're gonna have to give me more than that. That look amazing or fabulous. Maybe like our um races might help. Yeah. Oh. I'm white. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are our races? <laughs> uh, well, we've got a drow. And we... His Fuck eyes light Jordan up. is. His eyes light up. You did what to me? Oh, drow. <laughs> She cut out at a weird time. So yeah, she did. Yeah. No, I said whatever the fuck your character is because I can't remember what it was called properly. Uh, I'm ASMR. No, no Asmir. Asmir, that's it. Asmir, however they want to pronounce it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's... Um, do you have? Do you have measurements? Um, I did, but I don't have my wings anymore, so I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Because I feel like that would actually be yeah. important. Yeah, that would make a difference because your back yeah. wouldn't be as large. He disappears out behind the curtains. He comes back with a tape measure, and before you know it, he's on his hands, knees between your legs, measuring. Um, <laughs> Is that what they're calling it nowadays? Mm -hmm. Measuring. Measuring. He's disappointed. Measuring. It seems like whenever I get freaking <laughs> sized for my buddy Lucas's wedding, I swear that dude grew up my butt like. Three seconds. <laughs> Firm hands, he, though. He's gotten down some stuff. He holds your arms out. He measures the rest of you. Um, and for you, any sort of before you can say anything, he's lifting your arms up and he's measuring. Oh, well. okay. Um, <laughs> you have. I you didn't have know there was going to be catching. Did you have a style in mind? Um, Why have you measured me three times now? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to just, check in with that small. Just <laughs> relatively yes. simple, I guess. Simple, you know what they say about nice. angels. I'm not okay. very fashion conscious. Um, Angel of the street, but a devil of the sheet. So he disappeared. What? What's it for? Uh, for the um, talent show. 
or a band. The talent show. Are you any yes. good? Um. I hear from a reliable yes. source we might just win. <coughs> wow, I like the that. head like of the guard. I like your confidence, and he pats you on the cheek. Mm. Um, <laughs> Wait, which cheek? The, the facial cheek. The face. Which um, he's oddly enough measuring <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Still measuring. He disappears out behind the curtain. Um, Why'd you measure my jawline? He comes back. He's, he comes back with a a very plain grey suit, almost tweed like, um, with waistcoats. Um, and he holds them up. He goes, "I've got these," and he puts them on the side. And he disappears back out, and he comes out with a cream, flowing, sort of suit. It's airy. Sure. It's you know, and it sort of it hangs hangs that up as well. Um, where are your, where are your, where is the rest of you? Um, that might help with the with the styling. Uh, they had other things they needed to to finish. So this was kind of our job. Would it be easier if we? We can go find them. I mean, it would help. It would help with the styling, I guess. Um, you know, just saying you want something that you can wear is. I'll hold up my autographed photo of Justin Timberlake when he was in In Sync with the vest <laughs> and be like, "Do you have any?" <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a D one hundred. Okay. <laughs> Prepare your butt because I'm going to get the the JT roll on this one. Oh god. Which is of course sixty nine. Does it come with frosted tips though? Yeah, it does. Wow. Check this crap. Yeah. Boom, 92. Okay, you I don't know if that's a good you unravel, a, you unravel a scroll, um, and there is a drawing of a fairly fresh-faced faced teenager. Yeah. Um, no, it's a handsome teenager. Um, looks like he lacks musical talent. but mm -hmm. uh, um, Then it's not a, Justin Timberlake. With a signature on. Um, and, and the draft sort of looks at you and it's the halfling, Justin Timberbottom. <laughs> Looks back at Saria for a bit of reassurance. Um, and then <laughs> runs, out the back and, runs out the back and comes back with like a tuxedo um, with a with a, a bow tie on. Um, it's, it's fairly nice. It's quite t t slim fitting. Um, you know, unless, I, unless I see everybody, it's difficult to, to find something that will suit you all. No, that's... that's... We, we can come back with with everybody that's no problem can i get a general price range hmm um i mean for the tuxedo and this is the the most expensive of them um 100 gold each okay and for the other ones uh the, the gray suit um about 10 gold per suit you know what? maybe i will go with the gray suit <laughs> after all <laughs> <laughs> um, i mean if if you don't mind telling people about the store while you're at the, at the, you know, if you win, I can I could potentially give you a discount, or I could loan you the, uh, the items overnight if you're willing to to give the store some advertising. I'm um, advertising. Definitely... We'll talk about you in our victory speech. <laughs> definitely. I like that uh... and he pats you on the cheek. I know he does. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> this this time it's the ass cheek. It is the ass cheek. <laughs> That, that is keep potentially definitely a thing we could do. Okay, well, bring back, um, bring back the other two, especially the drow. Um, and, oh, God. We can, we can especially talk. the drow. Especially the drow. We don't, yeah. I don't get to see many drows around here. Are you a fan of spiders? Because he has one. Okay, bring them back when you're ready. Um, <laughs> I figure drows are like all into spiders and crap. That's oh, my God. Them. Can we get Skitter as a costume? I know, I want to give him a little top hat. Yeah. T top Did someone just spell spend all their gold? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. We'll see what the gold situation is like, and then okay. maybe Skinner's gonna have a costume. So as you guys walk out, heading back in your general direction, you see a drow and a, and a dwarf. A drow looking at a bow um, that he clearly didn't have before. Um, as you look at that bow, rubbing um, it lovingly. Yeah. As you look at that bow, it's you start the bow too. Bit, Starting to become attuned to it. Um, it's you know it feels the, it's weighted well. Um, Very nice. Carvings are quite quite elaborate. You uh, you feel pretty pretty good with it. Um, yeah, I do. And then you see these two come out of the come out of the clothes shop empty-handed. Oh oh, guys, we need you. How the how? Where's the costumes? We're gonna go pick those up now. He needs to like see you for what did he keep saying? Stylings. I don't know what that means. Uh, you mean it's measurements? Quite the fashionista, Maybe. if you will. 
All right. Okay. Can, can we get so, Skitters in costume? Also, 25, he I'm, seems extremely excited about meeting you. He's uh, also a drow, a drow as well. I don't know if it's a drow type deal to to be exclusive in terms of racism or what, but he's definitely interested in meeting you. Lovely. Um, and Watch we, out, he's a, we'll, he's a toucher. He is very touchy. <laughs> we'll talk about skitters after we figure out how much this is going to cost. Okay. My right butt cheek is still sore. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get over it, honey. <laughs> she did. <laughs> it was she caused this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you guys walk back in, um, shop is fairly empty. Um, he's disappeared out the back. Um, he hears the little bell jingle above the door and comes rushing back out. Oh, hello! And as he spots Santa. You, Oh, so it's the Santa banter. It's close, it's close to the Santa voice. Um, as he as he spots you, um, Torb. No, as he still spots you, <laughs> twenty five. There's kind of a, a, a moment silence where he makes um, eye contact for slightly longer than is normal. Okay. Is that um, twenty five or the spider? Twenty five. <laughs> or he both. Hasn't seen, the, hasn't seen the spider yet. Um, spider's on my shoulder. Oh, okay. He has seen the spider. Yeah. Um, he's too. He's too transfixed. Yeah, the um, spider's usually hmm. usually on his shoulders. His um uh measurements and he grabs you, Torb, and he pulls you over and he lifts your arms up and starts measuring you down the inside of your leg. Um does you fairly quickly. Um Whoa. and then turns to you twenty five and says, um Does you a lot longer. Could, could you um could you get the spider off so I can measure you for your suit? Yeah. Skitters um like motion to the corner or something. Okay, just I move the down. fuck away <laughs> as he moves. At that, at that point, he grabs you by the the um, the waistband of your trousers <laughs> and pulls you really close to him and starts measuring you. He's got his your arms up. He's got the tape measure around your chest and he's sort of really really close as he's as he's looking. Um, his hand kind of brushes down your your midriff as he um, starts measuring <laughs> the inside of your inside of your leg. Um, he goes, "Wow, you are a fine specimen." That thing. You he must have really liked skitters. I got just the thing, and he turns out the back, and he comes back with these. Okay, three, he turns out the back. He, he comes back with these like three He's naked dark black suits, um, and one bright white, almost lycra tight suit. He sort of dishes them out, and the, the white one goes to you. Um, twenty five. The rest of course. I'm that's... laying against. I'm laying against the back wall. By the way, just talking to skitters. That's that's racist. <laughs> um, what about these? You have to ask the art director, and I point to perfect the area. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, uh, fine, but um, you don't have dresses. What about skitters? Yes, I don't think you'd look good in a dress, though. No, not not him. For I him. agree. Skitters might. Oh, okay. Um, yes, and he comes back and he's got this whole shelf just full of of dresses, all various styles, all various um, sizes, and he kind of pushes you in front of it and turns back to. It's <laughs> like, um, do you want to try it on? Who me? Uh, yes. Yes. No. Yes. Someone yes. else. <laughs> the the, the other right. drow that just walked in. Yeah, it, the other drow that he's obsessed with. If if yeah. this is the one that our bard wants, Saria. That's do fine. Think? I don't mind. <laughs> Going through the dresses. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. kind of yeah. like, disacknowledging you. All right, all right. I he try it by on. that point, before you finish, he grabs you by the wrist and he pulls you out to um to what is essentially a, a wooden sort of fitting room with a, a stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> you are an adult. It's he okay. He'll yeah. um, be fine. <laughs> he hangs the, the human up on the side, and he's um he's like do you want to help do you want me to help you out the armor i think i could do it i, I have lotion for that <laughs> you need anything just just yell um, oh and he, okay he pulls, the, pulls the curtain closed and disappears back out um out to the room he heads over to you sorry he's like uh, have you found anything um I, it's very overwhelming the amount have, of dresses do you have anything in mind uh, no what kind of what kind of you're a band? What kind of songs do you sing? Bard songs. Oh, okay. Um 
<laughs> he goes, there he goes away down. and he comes back with like Can a... Do you have anything like this dress, but like in a different colour? Clicks his fingers <laughs> and he runs over to a different <laughs> shelf that you haven't shown you. And he comes back with almost identical. Um, but it's But it's green. That's wonderful. I'll take that. Yeah, Super. it's fine. And he sort of pushes it back to you and he heads back towards the uh, the uh, dressing room and draws the curtains open. He goes, how do you look? Uh, and you're pretty much just out of your armor. At that point. <laughs> Sexy. Uh, Fabulous. Th thank you. Get her shield your eyes. <laughs> the curtain hasn't closed. <laughs> I just close it. <laughs> okay. And he turns just, around and claps. I love him not saying anything else and just just <laughs> looking. <laughs> he turns around and claps. He um he do you guys need to try on the suits? Do you want I I could I, I probably need to do some some tailoring to make sure they'll fit. Um you can you can how long have you got before the before the final? Um and you guys know that it's probably about an hour is away now. Yeah. An, an out. Um, okay. Um, and he runs out the back and you hear like snipping and stuff. And, and then, so, you know, there's some various banging and clanking going on out the back. I'm just going to like <laughs> yell back. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. It's um, and he comes back oh, and he hands out these two suits to you and they, they look pretty good considering it only took him a matter of, of minutes. You know, they, you know, they look like they've been made to, to fit the appropriate uh, proportions. Didn't take him very long at all. Um, Okay, um, so you, I mean, I do offer another service, which which might be good. Um, and he grabs um, hold of it. He grabs hold of a suit, <laughs> <laughs> and he lifts up the sleeve. And as he lifts up the sleeve, um, sparkles just start coming out of. The oh end my of the god! End yes. End of the sleeve. Oh, okay. I feel That's like our good. friend twenty five might enjoy that. As weirdly, uh, I as agree with that. that. These sparkles start raining down over the top of the, uh, of the <laughs> curtain, or whilst you're whilst you're getting dressed. Yeah, that's when you hear him go, oh my god, yes. <laughs> Please tell me my outfit has them. I, I can I can fit them. I would love that. And do they, are there tassels under my arms? Because there has to be. Um, I can I can give you tassels. Awesome. <laughs> He's wearing a couple right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, um Why so did 25 turn into a diva? <laughs> So as you're in the as you're Divas. in the dressing room uh, and you're pretty much apparently... you're pretty much dressed, he he walks in, he pushes you up against the wall, spreads uh... your arms out, and starts starts sewing the uh, the oh, tassels okay. underneath your underarm. <laughs> uh, a little bit too close while he's doing it, um, and he gets uh -huh. everything done. Um, as you lift your arms up, there's these these beautiful silvery tassels. But your butt um, hurts. And then he, for some weird reason, yeah. He grabs your arm, pulls it close to you, and he starts doing something and, and saying something under his under his uh, sort of to himself into the to, into the jacket. Uh, and as he pulls it away, you see this sort of rune glowing just on the inside of your as your sleeve. Um, does it to the other one? He comes along and, and does it to all of all of your um, <laughs> attire. Um, and that's it. He, you know, so are you are you all good? Do you need, um, need to try these on, or? Uh, oh, do do you have looks, like a? Looks good for. What about what about skitters? Spider. Yeah. Um. A bow or a top hat. A top hat. <laughs> a small top hat. I've been trying to get him a top hat this whole time. Top hat. Yeah. <laughs> maybe a little cane. And maybe just you know give it to twenty five oh, to hey, put on. Don't him. call me little cane. Can he, <laughs> can he have a cane that does the? Shoots oh out the my god! Stuff. Yes. He, um, he disappears out the back, and he he comes back, and he's got like a fez. Um, <laughs> he's got, um, From that seventy like a, a beanie, essentially. <laughs> dreads hanging out. Um, <laughs> uh, and then he's got this too large for a spider top hat. Perfect. <laughs> that would be up to twenty-five. I could give it a bow underneath so it doesn't fall off. Yes. Okay, um, and he starts stitching something into the brim of the hat um, and hands it over to you, clearly not going anywhere near the... <laughs> You're going to love this one, Skitters. Yep. Uh, I'll toss it to King to put on Skitters since he's next one. <laughs> it's like the hat comes like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Skitters, you're a people now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much covers the whole of the body. You just see these legs sticking out <laughs> underneath this top, underneath this top hat. 
That is actually slightly less terrifying. Can, can we at least, like, make yeah. little holes in the front for his eyes so he can see? Well, his, so eyes, not... are, his eyes are sort of underneath. Though. I guess oh, there's okay. some eyes in the top of the hat as well, so you could potentially okay. cut a little eight or however many eyes a spider has out. <laughs> We're just borrowing these. I don't know if he'll want us to start cutting crap. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd probably suggest holding on until you... Um... He's, if he's got some of his eyes, he'll be able to see him walk around and Okay, um, yeah. just remember to let everybody know about the shop, um, and you better win. Of course we will. Uh, yeah. No I doubt. Almost yeah. guarantee it. What? What's the name of the... Uh, How do you spell it, in case people ask? Mordorashery. Um, what? No, that, was that? that was the other place. <laughs> um, that was the other place. This is yeah, something important. It's uh, Mordorf's this is Fashion. More, yes, this is Mordorf. Mordorf's yeah. Fashion. <laughs> Mordorf. <laughs> Don't forget the name, like I did. Um, <laughs> Do they, Gandalf? <laughs> okay, Scott. Um, but before we leave, um, I want to ask him if inside my talks, if he can make um two little like loops so that you know something <laughs> to, to hold on, um, like musical notes or like a music sheet in. Okay. Um. And he grabs some some thread and sort of stitches on the in the lining, just a couple of of cotton, sort of just fasteners essentially, where you can yeah you can enter a parchment of some kind. All right, cool. No problem. And, I think Tor uh, just invented pockets. Nah. <laughs> okay. Um. Bring bring these back uh, tomorrow after you've been successful, and um and re tell everybody about the shop. Um. Um. Nice to meet you. And he's square staring. Just at 25. Square, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you too. Um, and as you guys walk past, so Kane, Torb will walk past, um, they, you sort of walk through the, the reasonable size gap. As you go to walk past, he steps closer. Um, <laughs> so the gap gets smaller between the uh, the the clove railing and, and where you're walking, 25. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll kind of try and go around him. Okay. As you walk past, he slaps you square on of the arse. He goes, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> you. You too. See you soon. Uh, and as, you as I do that, <laughs> uh, I'll shoot the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you you do that, and these silver sparkles go everywhere, but you're a bit too close to the clothing, um, <laughs> and some of it starts to singe. Um, um, he's like, oh, don't worry. Don't worry about that. And as you walk out, you hear this, like, Dreamy sigh. As you, uh, <laughs> as you close the door, <laughs> uh, and as you turn back, you see that he hasn't moved at all. He's still yeah. just standing there, staring in space a little bit. Still like things smoking <laughs> next things to him. To, yeah, Sorry, it's just to grow. gonna like for... slow down until. I'll wait for a twenty-five to kind of get closer. I'm just say he's yeah. a keeper. <laughs> I think he likes you. I would agree. You think? Like a lot. <laughs> I think you two work well together. Well, thank it's very you. Very cute. You have my somewhat unholy blessing. Thank, thank you. <laughs> you should like take him to dinner. Skitter hops off onto my shoulder. Okay, I think Skitter likes him as well. Sorry, it moves away immediately. <laughs> the hat slides so it's now sort of hanging off essentially the backside. Yep. Um, okay. It's too cute. What are you guys doing? It's about 20 minutes or so towards the, the show. Well, I guess we should get How ready. How much longer are we going to go for game-wise? About now, I think. I take it you guys are heading towards the... Probably. Towards we know you're not going to bed yet. We'll soon be playing yeah. South Park. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll stay, but it's going to be really weird to see you sleeping um, on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. That's why it's so dark. You <laughs> no, we, we are going to stop it. I also wear yeah. all black, so look, like I'm invisible. Me too. Yay. Yay. I haven't seen most of TFG sleep on camera, though, so I guess that's not saying much. <laughs> that's <laughs> really picture, weird. We have pictures of Matt sleeping. But Matt does that all the time, though. <laughs> yeah, Matt um, that, That's all the time. nothing new. So you guys arrive at the main square. Um, there is a, a large crowd of people standing in front of a large wooden stage. Um, to the left of, of the stage, sitting at a desk, are uh, two men and two women. Um, 
There's a rotund dwarf that sits slumped in his chair, eating chicken, uh, looking generally disissued, uh, disissued, disinterested. <laughs> um, there's a grey-haired female who's um, looking rather disdained sitting uh, beside him. Um, she watches a current the current performance. Uh, a younger woman looking, uh, sorry, younger looking man is sitting with a bright suit, watching intently with a large grin on his face. Uh, and an attractive blonde lady wearing uh, a tight-fitting red dress also sits upright watching the, the current act. Um, you watch as a large elf male in a, in a skin-tight outfit covered in glistening stone steps to the stage. Uh, a female elf that looks identical to him um, is uh, sitting behind a harp. Music begins to play and the man begins to slowly dance around the stage. He glides across the stage in time with the music before stopping centre stage to lift his leg up a 180 degree angle um, above his above his head. Sorry, gonna, didn't stand a chance. I'm just going to roll it. I a, yeah. would have done fine, thank you. Just going to roll a performance check, hold on. <laughs> I've Something got a glittery liar. Um, if all of a sudden an arrow shoots out and we find out he's the assassin, this is the ultimate kill. <laughs> 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 the leg goes up. <laughs> he lifts his leg up. As he lifts his leg up, literally at a, a sort of a 180 degree angle, so it's just pointing straight towards the ceiling. Um, you watch as he starts to wobble a little bit. Uh-oh. And then fall sideways. Oh, um, God. To... Um, the so, splits? To where, yeah, to the splits in a, an uncompromising position as he lands on his um and literally doesn't move for about I... 30 40 seconds the harp music starts to, the harp <laughs> oh, music oh, of course to kane is down. clapping to that he's Everybody, holding the splits for so long the whole the whole crowd is kind of covering their mouths um, you can see that some people are some of the females are sort of stifling a laugh where some of the men are kind of biting their fists sort of I appreciate yeah. quite how painful this um mm -hmm. this might well have been um the uh the the people at stage um all hold up these these exes um <laughs> and uh and some people come along and kind of help him up and help him off the stage um you, uh, you america's got talent yeah. as you That's approach close the enough stage, um you start pushing your way through the through the crowd um you watch as a uh, a dragonborn male enters the stage wearing a suit um he has four unlit wooden torches uh, he bows to the crowd and the judges before letting out a breath of fire in the afternoon sun the crowd gar gasps and a couple scream as he lights three of the torches and begin to to juggle them um i'm more interested to see a dragon in a suit yeah he uh, he does it it's pretty nice Breathing fire isn't like much it, of a talent it looks like it came from the expensive <laughs> shop um ah. but he's juggling ah. He's juggling these uh, these wooden torches, um, and he's doing a pretty good job of it. Um, and then he um, he adds an, the last torch. As he does, he throws it up, and he breathes fire, lighting it as he then catches it and continues to juggle, um, eventually catching all the torches, putting them out, uh, and and bows to the crowd. Um, as as he does, um, the judges hold up some scorecards this time, rather than the X's. Uh, and he scores a whopping 30 points. Ooh, crowd, he's immune to fire. Crowd give a polite <laughs> sort of clap as he as he leaves the stage. Um, <laughs> he's immune to fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sense, That's not a talent. <laughs> he sensed that they weren't overly impressed by that. That's like my talent eating paper. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do on stage? Um, no. <laughs> Spoilers. So as you, reach, as you reach the front of the stage, I'm going to there's eat a, parchment. There's a um, a female wearing a sash. Um, she uh, indicates that so the sash indicates that she's the uh, the, the official the and Scout. greets you. Um, can I take your names, please? Uh, I'm Saria. Um, Saria Venfine. Okay, and this sort of smile fades, and she goes, "Oh, oh, it's you. Um, come this way," and she leads you away from the the crowd a little bit. Um, and she looks all of you up and down. She's like, "This, this, this is your group." Um, yes. Um, she looks a bit bemused at that. Um, she grabs you by the arm and she um, says, "Everybody knows what has to happen, uh, but we need you to put on a good performance. Uh, people cannot know that it's already been decided. Um, we have some really good acts. Um, 
you um you turn and look at the stage and you look up and you see a group of gnomes that are currently dancing in unison to an upbeat little number um as you turn back to the to the uh to watch the woman you catch something at corner your eye and as you turn back you see a gnome somersaulting through the middle of the air over a troop of dancing gnomes um <laughs> and he lands on his head and bounces off the stage <laughs> and lands on the floor of for about 15 20 foot away from you um and oh good so crowd, like <laughs> some of the crowd some of the crowd cheer some of the crowd laugh some of the crowd groan um, <laughs> as he rolled a natural one um, and eventually some people come and sort of help him up and, and lead him past where you got a standing uh, the rest of them kind of tr- troop off a little dejected um as i was saying so, yeah some- no no pressure we got some really good, really good. So far, um, the rest of them are injuring themselves. We might have much, yeah. <laughs> we got some really good groups. Um, what kind of act are you, you doing today? Music. At that point, she's looking at you, Torben. She's kind of straightening out your armor, um, <laughs> trying to, to to make you a little bit more presentable. Well, I mean, um, aren't we wearing our suits? Yeah. You're still you're that. still armored up at this moment in time. Twenty five. I'm, I'm the only one. Changed. <laughs> I'm not changing. Yeah. I'll put um, a suit on over my are. armor. Um, oh, you, you've got clothes. Um, you can go and get changed yes. out the back. Um, she points behind sort of where a tent is. Um, um, you'll be up in 10 minutes. Uh, don't let us, yourselves, or the council down. <laughs> I look up at the people that are laying all around the stage unconscious and crap. It's, it's not going to take much. <laughs> okay. Um, so, something feels uncomfortable. I reach into my costume and pull out. It's the dude's number, and it's it was right in the crotch area <laughs> with eight condoms. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Used. <laughs> okay. So as you um, as you go off and get changed, we yep. will leave it there. Woohoo! Next week, Sounds talent good. show. Talent show. Yep. Talent show. Cool. That means Cole has to yeah, actually sing. Well, you lot have got to sing. You're a group. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, I just do pirate so, can, Just not, like, in unison scare off any. Because trying to coordinate that on Discord is always the worst. Oh, oh my I God, say does we that do mean it. we have to have practices for that? Yeah, I no, say we... Rehearsal? Uh, I'm, I'm like yeah. that guy from, uh... God, it's a stupid group. With, like, Will I Am and Apple D. App and Fergie. Black oh, yeah, yeah, I'm like yeah. the hype man that's in the very back. It doesn't really do anything. I just kind of like every now and, and then. Will I am? No. Wait, no. Okay. Will I am's the main dude. Mm, doesn't really do much, though, does he? <laughs> he does more. Anyway, than let's move apps is backup guy. Yeah. Let's move on. Um, Jesus, yes, man. Okay. Yay. We'll pick this up next week, where you guys are um, about to perform in a talent show. We're yeah, a better we band are. than Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, we fair, are. So are most bands. You haven't got a huge amount to, to, to go against, bearing in mind I rolled two natural ones for the three, <laughs> um, for yeah. the three acts that were on prior to you. Mm-hmm. Wait, does that mean Skitters is Fergie? No, Skitters yeah. has no. probably got more talent than Fergie. Oh, all right. Fair <laughs> enough. You realize that our one viewer is... <laughs> from the back piece. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. okay thank you very much for watching everybody um yeah, thanks apologies everyone. for the the technical issues that we've had today um, yeah, yeah. They will be gone next week um, the it's the been last great yeah the, the last part yeah having discord on full screen like, yeah computer wow you not, live and learn like my it. friend yep oh like sonic <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. well there we go Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to check out these guys' channels. Uh, we got uh, Kane and Torb. I'm not going to give your real names. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> forgot our names. Gaming. Yeah. And we've got uh, 25 from Player 2 in Coin. Yeah. And Saria from Kalafra Games. That's me. And the Dungeon Master from Scott Dog Gaming. Yay. That's me. Scott Dog yeah. Gaming. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.